Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Ms. Ingram, for being here today. I would like to ask you about the allegations that have been lodged against you. Republican Congressman Tom Price accused you of systematic harassment of conservative and religious organizations. He also argued that your employment at the IRS should be suspended. I would like to give you an opportunity to respond to those comments directly because congressmen and women can say a lot of things to the press and smear your name and never give you a chance to respond. Did you engage in systematic harassment of conservative and religious organizations? No, ma'am. Throughout your 31 plus year career at the IRS, have you ever treated a taxpayer differently based on your own political or personal beliefs? Absolutely not. And I want to again talk about the timeline. I know we've discussed your move um, from the Commissioner of Tax Exempt and Government Entities to your new position at the ACA. And is that correct? I'm, I'm sorry, you I moved. was distracted by the sign. If you could ask me again. <laughs> <laughs> that you moved from the Commissioner of Tax Exempt Government Entities to your new ACA position in December 2010. Is that yes, correct? Yes, and during your transcribed interview with committee staff, you said that during your tenure as commissioner, Ms. Lerner never told you about the allegations related to the Tea Party cases. I have no memory of hearing about them while I was there. And you became aware of the general allegations in 2012 really from press releases, is that correct? I have some things in the press, which is, um, you know, uh, I heard that, and then in the spring, my boss asked me to sit in on a, a couple of meetings he had called. Mm -hmm. So that Deputy IRS Commissioner Stephen Miller? Mr. Miller, yes. Right, asked you to attend a meeting about the allegations in 2012? Yes, in the spring. And he, that's when he decided to send the team to Cincinnati to conduct an internal review of what happened? Is that uh, right? Yes, that was what I was um, observing going on when I sat in on the meeting. And were you on that team? No, ma'am. Did you con conduct any internal review? No, I had um, uh, no role in between the few meetings I attended other than um, uh, to help persuade uh, Ms. Marks to participate in the team. Okay. But when the review was completed, you were informed by the internal review team that some applications for tax exempt status have been screened using inappropriate criteria and experience delays. Mr. Miller asked me to sit in on a meeting where they reported back, and I heard at that time that there were serious concerns um, based on their on-the-ground review about um, the delays in cases, the handling of cases, the filter criteria for uh, organizing um, inventory. Were you involved in any way in the action plan to address the, these problems? Were you involved in any way? Uh, I sat in, in a couple of meetings that Mr. Miller asked me to join that um, at which the team um, presented their proposal of what they would recommend happen next in terms of um, analyzing and moving cases, educating staff, um, and so forth. So I, I sat in on some of those meetings and that was kind of my role. Okay, but you weren't a part of developing or overseeing or implementing? No. I neither developed nor um, supervised the execution. And why do you think you weren't a part of it? <laughs> because I had a more than full-time job. Um, uh, I know uh, many people in this room work long hours, but 60 or 70 hours seems like a full-time job to me. And that job was ACA, and I was not having any of my ACA duties taken off me. Um, so when I could sit in, um, when I was requested, I tried to cooperate, but it was only a few times, and I didn't make a lot of the times I was invited. Okay. And did you play any role in Lois Lerner's decision to reveal the IG's findings at the ABA meeting? Uh, none. Okay. So let me just see if I have this right. You were not responsible for conducting the internal review. You were not charged with implementing the corrective measures, and you had no interaction with Lois Lerner about her decision to discuss the allegations at the ABA meeting. Correct. Thank you very much. I yield back. Thank the gentlelady. We now really